legend lives on from the Chippewa uh, down of the big lake they call Gitchigumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With the load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the admin Fitzgerald made empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As big freighters go, it was bigger than most with the crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms when they left fully loaded for Cleveland. Then later that night when the ship's bell rang, could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? And the wire made a tattletale sound And a wave broke over the railing And every man knew as the captain did too T'was the witch of November came stealing The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait When the gales of November came slashing when afternoon came, it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind. When supper time came, the old cook came on deck saying, Fellas, it's too rough to feed ya. At 7 p.m. the main hatchway caved in He said, fellas, it's been good to know ya The captain right in, he had water coming in And the good ship and crew was in peril and Later that night, when his lights went out of sight Came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours? May have split up or they may have capsized, they may have broke deep and took water. All that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. In a musty old hall in Detroit they prayed in the Maritime Sailors Cathedral. The church bell chimed till it rang 29 times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they called Gitchigumi. Superior, they said, never gives up her dead when the gales of November come early.